one being negative. Stay positive and all shall be fine. Positivity is everything. Don't be negative Nancys. We all hear it every day. But we hear it because positivity isn't merely hype. It is actually a necessity to have a healthy body. One should never stress the fact that they are so lonely. They have no friends. They have many problems in their life, and so on. This way you become stressed mentally. And stress has physical repercussions too as it can weaken your immunity. 2. Not drinking enough water. Water accounts for 60% of our body so it's not too surprising that drinking water benefits your total body health. Staying hydrated helps to keep your memory sharp, your mood stable and your motivation intact. Keeping up with your fluids helps your skin stay supple. Your body cools down when it's hot, allows your muscles and joints to work better, and helps clean toxins from your body via your kidney. So, how much water should you be drinking? The Institute of Medicine says adult men need about 13 cups per day of fluid, adult women need about 9. But because one size doesn't fit all, the best way to know if you're adequately hydrated is to monitor your urine color. If it's light yellow, that means you're drinking enough. 3. Not getting enough exercise. Physical activity has lots and lots of health benefits. Not only does it keep you looking and feeling great, but exercising regularly can help you lose weight and boost your energy. Exercising regularly can also help you live longer. Additionally, Exercise keeps your heart healthy, lowers your risk of some types of chronic disease, such as breast cancer and some aggressive forms of prostate cancer, improves blood flow to your brain, keeping you sharp, and helps with blood sugar control. Adults should aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity physical activity, such as brisk walking, each week, plus two or more days of muscle-strengthening activity, or 75 minutes of vigorous activity. 4. Drinking your calories Gupta doesn't just mean alcohol, either. 88 studies have found a relationship between soft drink intake and increased calories and body weight. It's easy to drink a lot of sugar that your body doesn't need, even from natural sources such as fruit juices, which have over 20 grams of sugar per cup, he warns. Water should be everyone's beverage of choice. If you really need a little extra taste, choose sugar-free flavored waters or unsweetened ready-to-drink tea. 5. Eating too late in the evening there are conflicting arguments on this, Gupta admits, but eating a late-night snack before bed can cause an unhealthy cycle of not eating enough during the day and becoming unnecessarily hungry at night. If you tend to experience heartburn, a bedtime snack can make symptoms even worse. It's best to eat early enough that you won't go to bed on a completely full stomach but to consume enough that late-night snacking won't be a temptation. 6. Assuming food out is the same as food at home. Gupta points out, most people don't know that airlines put extra salt and seasoning to counteract the effects of cabin air pressure and dryness. They don't know the additives in food at restaurants, either. It is harder to control meal ingredients and quality when you eat out, but some general guidelines help. Concentrate on getting as many colors on the plate as possible, which will make sure you get vegetables and proteins. At breakfast buffets, choose eggs over carbs. For lunch or dinner, start with the salad bar and eat a large portion of veggies before touching an entree. Whenever possible, make sure each meal includes some sort of fruit or vegetable. Bring healthy snacks on the road to curb the appeal of less nutritious foods. 7. Mindlessly grazing on snacks According to Gupta, the average American consumes 25% of their calories from snacking. Frequent eating is easy. The hardest thing to do is to keep those small meals or snacks under control. A snack can be a useful tool to stabilize blood sugar and avoid hunger emergencies that cause you to overeat at your next meal, but plan them in advance and keep them small. Gupta recommends that you portion them out or snack on veggies and fruits that come perfectly portioned already. Try to combine a carbohydrate with healthy fat or protein to keep you satiated longer. 8. Chugging the caffeine Coffee is so often a go-to for professionals dealing with stress, low energy, or a tight deadline. Too many lattes can cause greater harm than just making you jittery, however. Overconsuming caffeine can affect hunger cues, disrupt sleep patterns, and increase cortisol, Gupta says. All three of these can cause weight gain over time. And, of course, many coffee drinks contain hidden calories in the form of milk and flavoring. Gupta suggests sticking to regular coffee, a shot of espresso, or a cup of tea, and limiting yourself to two or fewer java servings a day. 9. Multitasking during meals have you ever heard of the pistachio principle? Asks Gupta. The idea comes from a study that finds people who consumed in shell pistachios ate fewer calories than those who consumed the pistachios out of shell because the empty shells reminded them of how much they ate. Mindfulness is an important key to good eating, and it's hard to give meals your full attention while staring at a screen. Take just a few minutes away from your desk or meetings to eat, he recommends. Give your full attention to the food, and observe cues like the empty pistachio shells, which will help you stay aware of how much you've consumed. 
10 being late. Certain people tend to be late on every occasion. This tendency can have dreadful effects on your life. The very first thing is it can make you a compulsory procrastinator. People never take your word for granted and always expect you to never be on time. This may make them feel that you are not a dependable person. Also, being late can be detrimental for you as you have created this bad habit of never being on time which can make your life difficult when you wish to arrive at a certain place on time. The best way to break this bad habit is to realize the importance of time. 11. Using your phone in bed. This is a big one that most people don't even realize harms their sleep and productivity. Short wavelength blue light plays an important role in your mood, energy level, and sleep quality. In the morning, sunlight contains high concentrations of this blue light. When your eyes are exposed to it directly, the blue light halts the production of the sleep-inducing hormone melatonin and makes you feel more alert. In the afternoon, the sun's rays lose their blue light, which allows your body to produce melatonin and start making you sleepy. By the evening, your brain doesn't expect any blue light exposure and is very sensitive to it. Most of our favorite evening devices, laptops, tablets, and mobile phones emit short wavelength blue light brightly and right in your face. This exposure impairs melatonin production and interferes with your ability to fall asleep as well as with the quality of your sleep once you do not off. As we've all experienced, a poor night's sleep has disastrous effects. The best thing you can do is to avoid these devices after dinner. 12. Overspending There are many things you can do to gain control over your finances. Taking ownership of your habits is the first step. With financial stress, it's important to get an accurate sense of where your money goes. Keeping track of that soda you purchase three times per week, the money you give your children for lunch, etc., will all help you to figure out a healthier budget. We spend more money than we realize sometimes. Educate yourself on the basic rules and methods of personal finance, including credit cards, mortgages, budgeting, and investing. Pay at least the minimum each month on your bills to stay ahead of your expenses and prioritize paying more to the credit card with the highest interest rate. Automatic bill pay can ensure you're never hit with late fees. And be sure some of your paychecks get automatically transferred to your savings account. Set up recurrent monthly transfers via your employer's payroll department or your own online banking. 13. Being with people who don't appreciate you. The human mind is such that it longs for people who appreciate you. If you are in the company of people who do not appreciate you, it can worsen your life. This is such a bad habit that can make you underestimate yourself and do things much lower than your potential. The best thing to counter this bad habit is by making friends with people who appreciate you for who you are. Look out for people who provide sincere compliments and help you become a better person. This is a must to break this bad habit of polluting your brain. 14. Eating when you're not hungry. Eat when you're hungry, fast when you're not. Intermittent fasting. Voluntary abstinence from food and drink for a stretch of time each day has received a lot of attention lately. A study published in 2019 in Scientific Reports found that going without food for a certain length of time may help boost metabolism and can help overweight people shed pounds. Benefits include better glucose control and regulation of circadian rhythms, and all of these can help prevent diabetes. 15. Blaming It's not my fault I'm not successful. The industry is bad, I don't have the money, etc. When it comes down to it, However, who is the one responsible for their success? This is the day and age where people are launching successful startups in a few months, getting published online, and finding their way to success one way or another. Some things might be out of their control, but blaming others is just going to waste the energy and time they need to get going. 